Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan continues meetings with the EU officials on Tuesday evening. He met with EU Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini, European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker and EU Commissioner Johannes Hahn. During a joint press conference, Juncker touched upon the visa liberalization process, saying that the European Commission is in favor of starting respective negotiations as soon as possible, as it is important to Armenia and the EU. Pashinyan, in turn, also underscored the importance of a busy liberalization dialogue, which remains an issue of top priority in our bilateral relations, he added. Armenia wants Israel to hold arms sales to Azerbaijan, but it is not making this a condition for improving ties with Jerusalem, Armenia's Deputy Foreign Minister Grigor Havanisyan said. In an interview with the Jerusalem Post, he said that Armenia wants its friends to know that selling arms to Azerbaijan is beyond a simple business transaction and has consequences. Armenia, however, does not exclude the possibility for us as well to cooperate with the Israeli defense sector. This is not a precondition for improved ties, Havanisyan said. Since we know some other third countries also do the same. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan will meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev during the year. We'll meet several times this year, for example, during the summit of the Eurasian Economic Union. I hope this year Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin will pay an official visit to Yerevan, and I will go to Moscow, he said, adding that the dates were being discussed. Yerevan will host the Intergovernmental Council of the Eurasian Economic Union, and all Prime Ministers, including Dmitry Medvedev, will arrive in Yerevan, he said. A three-year-old girl died in a hospital where she was taken from a kindergarten in capital city Yerevan. The investigative committee of Armenia is investigating the death of this child. According to preliminary information, this three-year-old had laid down to sleep after lunch at the kindergarten, but a few minutes later, the youngster had started to wheeze, and when the instructor had approached the kid, she had noticed vomit, whereas the child did not respond to her call. Armenian American woman pleaded guilty to conspiracy to unlawfully bringing in aliens, visa fraud, and aggravated identity theft. According to the indictment, Stella Boyajian led a transnational network of co-conspirators who were engaged in a widespread visa fraud scheme to bring Armenian citizens into the U.S. by fraudulently claiming that the Armenians were members of performance groups and thus qualified for the P3 culturally unique artist visas. Two other ethnic Armenians, Rachia Toyan and Armenian national Yana Gregorian, were charged in a 15-count indictment with visa fraud.